friends, Shabbat Shalom. In this week's Parsha, there's one verse that towers over all other verses. It is so romantic what is said about Jacob. And Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed unto him but a few days for the love he had for her. And here's a question. Usually when you want something, you're longing for something, time prolongs, it stretches, it seems forever until you get what you want. But here with Jacob, time is shortened, only a few days. Why is that so? Today I want to make a differentiation between love and lust. Love is when you put the other person first, his aspiration, his wantings, his longings. And lust is when you think only about yourself either physically or emotionally but you're thinking about yourself when you're in love true love is when you put the other person first and when you put the other person first there is no goal you want to be with that person time has no issue here and you don't have enough time a day to be with that person and therefore time is short but when you want something for yourself, time prolongs forever. Last week, there's a singer that died named Lou Reed. And he has a beautiful song. And this is what he says. My time is your time when you're in love. And time is what you never have enough of. You can't see or hold it. It's exactly like love. And identify with these words. Time is what you never have enough of when you think about the other person, his aspirations, and the things that he wants to do or wish for himself. Today, we're in a day and age that there's a lot of confusion between love and lust. How do we educate ourselves, our youth, to love and not to lust? It starts with the first step. How do you know that you're doing the right thing? Is simply when the first step that you the first step that you take towards the other person is a step of giving. If you feel that you are giving, you know you're in the right path. If you feel that you are taking and wanting for yourself, you're going down the lust path. So is it going to be love or lust? Jacob teaches us a very important lesson in this week's Parsha. Shabbat Shalom.